so we got us a no heat call here another one so it just kicked on just kicked on she said it uh, comes on tries for a bit and stops so let's take a look and see if we can figure out what's going on with this thing it's got the ECM drive for the uh, draft motor it's got the newer igniter see any glow, so let's see what kind of code ends up giving us. Show this will be another simple one. Hmm. What kind of code did we get? Thirty one pressure switch. Pressure switch did not close or open. All right, so do we have a plugged up condensate trap? Let's take a look and see. It's usually that or possibly something in these exhaust stacks which are looking pretty pretty um, unhealthy to say the least they uh, yeah they're kind of looking a little bit tired there holy mackerel and they're really far apart and look at that yeah that's daylight coming in it's really nice Let's see if we can plug that up for the lady. Let's get the chair out. Well, it's not plugged. That's a good thing. You can get it pulling as hard as it can. I'm kind of curious. I need to go outside, maybe check the exhaust stacks. We'll uh, yank the uh, box here and see how she resp responds. Could be something in our pressure switches, too. So, I had water in this not too long ago on a different furnace. Not the case with this one. But like I mentioned on another video, it was uh, one that had a humidifier. And they had uh, made a uh, vent around where the condensate trap's at and it drove the water right back into the furnace. Filled it all up. Not good. So let's take a look in here. All right, so we got that hooked on there. Took the cover off and she's running. So we probably have an air intake issue. So I just put the cover on there and you can watch the flames start to come back at me. So I need to go outside and check the exhaust stacks. See what's going on out there. I don't know how that's not leaking. Oh, it's an air intake. So they've cut this a few times before for some reason. That's probably a there's probably a reason for that, I bet you. Let's go outside and take a look. Just doing a little basic investigation here and stuff. So Let's go out there and look and see what we got. What I'm doing here is just, these videos are for the new guys, just so you know. I'm talking out loud so you guys hear what my thought process is. Um, go back through my other videos. I do more than just residential. For some reason, the residential stuff's getting a lot more hits than what my commercial stuff, refrigeration, things like that. So, just so you know, because I've gotten a lot of comments off of my uh, heat pump frozen video. And, you know, just so you know, I thought I'd throw that out there. Let's go outside. Oh, this is great. Should have brought my snow boots. This is pretty deep. 
That's pretty deep. Yeah, you can't. There, there you go. It's up to my knee. Yeah, this is great. Ugh. Let's walk around here and see if we can get to it. Couldn't go out the back door. Oh, yeah, look at that. So the exhaust was angled downwards, which shouldn't have been. And the air intake's over there in the snow because somebody didn't glue it. And so it sucked it completely up. There's the reason why she had daylight coming in. So there must have been another furnace here before. It's the best thing I can come up with. The, uh, yeah, they just should never have done it like that. We're going to we'll angle it up a little bit and shoot it straight out instead of down like that. That's just causing a hellacious amount of recirculation potentially. It should have came out right next door with each other, right right close together. But unfortunately they didn't do it, so we're just going to have to make the best we can of it. Probably have to yank that out and see if we can knock the snow out of it. Alright, this looks about ratty. I glued it. I actually used cleaner, one like the last people. And, uh, I'm not happy with that at all. I really am not. Um, I think what I'm going to do, since they've got it the way they've got it, I'd love to come out a new hole, but that would be bad. Since it's hidden behind the air conditioner, I think I'm going to go pick up some pipe, chop that off, get a new piece glued onto it, go out, and bring it over, put it close to this, and then shoot the exhaust out, and then bring the uh, air intake close to it. I, I, It looks like hell on the outside but it's hidden behind that air conditioner there's no good way I don't know why I mean it's been like this forever this is one of those judgment calls what do you do all right so we checked the filter it's fine I'm gonna go pick up some new pipe and get that replaced otherwise it's gonna come on glued again and they'll have problems again um, got the cover on there it's running fine Let's see the clean the flame sensor when we get back so right now let's go get those parts and kind of start from there but right now we've got it running I mean we couldn't leave it like it is I just I always want to fix everything I just don't like it when it's I mean you look at that it's you can see it comes across dags down and goes across I put the cleaner on there but you can see it's not that's not good all right, so we went and got some pipe, and I'm kind of experimenting here. I mean, we could bring that thing up higher, but she, I don't know. She said I could run it over, but we don't really have that many uh, issues with recirculation, I guess, with the carriers. So, I mean, you can kind of do one of those numbers. Or we could do a T on the end. I guess what bothers me is the lady saying that she's getting some sort of wind causing an issue with it uh, tripping out. Myself, personally, I'd like to see it come up higher and just shoot straight out. Let's we'll see if we make this thing look a little bit better. Maybe if they were a little closer to the house instead of hanging out like as far as what they're hanging out. I really don't like them out that far. It's quite a bit. Looks kind of ugly. Yeah, there's that there. And even when we do it like that, it doesn't hardly come out that far. To even hit it. I'm going to go inside and get this thing glued so I can get that set up right. Alright, it looks a lot better for what we got to work with. I mean, you got a hand's distance there and about two hands difference here. So it's no wonder why it looks a little crooked. But at least it's properly glued and clean prior to. I, uh, I assume they couldn't go any further over because they'd hit the floor joists there. Sometimes you can only polish it so far and then you just gotta, you know, make it work. Honestly, I think this looks a little better. I mean, they're hidden. When you come over this way, it's hidden. It's where you can't see it. And that's pretty typical right there. I mean, she said I could run it horizontal, but then that would put me in front of the 
the drain and all that stuff and have to worry about what's going to keep it from falling down. Then I'd have to put clamps on the wall and that just it turns into a mess. I'm going to leave it like this and then worst case scenario, if they need to, they could always add that to it. But I don't think they're going to need to do that. I will uh, might just leave that as a little extra, but that kind of cleans it up and it's kind of hidden back there. As you can see, the snow gets pretty stupid deep out here. I mean, it's, it's, you can see how much they got. It just is unusual. Seems like it should uh, work out fine. If you don't like it, that's all right. It's in the book like this. Welcome to Ohio weather where it's deeper snow. So any other time you may have been able to come straight out and just let it go straight out, but that's right at that 12 inch mark and that's probably more like 14, but with it being in a corner like this, it could go up higher and cause an issue. This is in the backyard, so like I said, you can't even see them uh, from uh, anywhere else. I went ahead and flipped that around the other direction to kind of separate it out a little bit, but you can see possibly the exhaust is only reaching out to about here, and it's not like it's going to uh, hit directly and pinch right onto it. All right, so we went ahead and glued the top of that pipe there but the bottom right here this is not glued this is not glued and that's not glued so depending on whether it causes any issues for we'll uh, be able to modify it without having to chop pipes and all that stuff as you can tell I brought this thing closer to the house now instead of way out front and uh, I still got to grab some caulk and uh, seal that thing up for so you don't have anything getting into the house from there all I had was clear at least it's sealed and won't be having infiltration and then that insulation will block the backside so you don't have a little light coming through making you think there's a hole there. 